okay so far we have seen what do we mean by offer and what do we mean by acceptance what are the different rules and regulations with rega regards to offer and acceptance but now we are going to look at how do uh, what do we mean by a uh, communication of offer and acceptance and revocation of offer and acceptance and what are the different provisions with related to this so it is important both for offer and for acceptance that communication is must so how do we communicate that and when the communication is completed so an offer or proposal is to be uh, an offer or proposal to be complete must be communicated if it is not communicated it is not complete right after communicated after communication only it becomes a binding contract right for both but first we are talking about offer communication of offer and acceptance can be made by words spoken or written that means orally or like verbally or by uh, written itself orally or uh, by words spoken or written yes that is express uh, what we can say express communication then it can be by conduct conduct means by the behavior it can be implied also and the third point is it is omission of which includes abstinence or forbearance like we always say this thing that offer means expressing or signifying the willingness to do or not to do so when we are saying not to do that means we are stopping somebody that if i'm saying that i will not buy your car for rupees 1 lakh that means if i'm not buying not buying means i'm not supposed to do anything and if i'm not doing anything that is also means communication so omission if you are supposed to do something and you are if you are not supposed to do something and you are not doing that thing right that is also communication so by words spoken or written by conduct and by omission of which includes abstinence if there is an abstinence and if you are not doing that omitting it to do it that means abstinence only so that is also means communication is complete right that is what what do we mean by communication of an offer and acceptance uh yeah like uh when the communication of acceptance is complete when you're saying that this is how the communication is but when does it sound to be complete so there are two conditions there are two approaches communication as against the promiser or as against the proposer and as against the acceptor so as against the proposer it is complete when it is put to the course of transmission to him so as to out of power of the acceptor like if i'm saying th the same example that i will buy your car for rupees 1 lakh this is an offer this is a proposal now if you're accepting this proposal and you are accepting it right you're accepting by the means of letter let's suppose so if you're writing a letter that yes you're uh, accepting my proposal now this propo uh, once you write it down and you send it across so this propo proposal is said to be accepted the communication of acceptance is completed against me who was the promiser me because i promised so for me it is completed the moment it is out of your control once you put it in the course of transmission the acceptance is supposed to be completed for you it is not completed but for me it is over because you have done your part now if it reaches to me or not that is a uh, fault of the courier people the post people we can say right the post office it is not your fault you were supposed to accept it you accepted it you sent it across and it didn't reach to me like if you're supposed to send an email you sent an email but that email did not reach to me why because uh, there were some server issues or network issues something was there but since you have done your part it is out of your control now right if you send a message on whatsapp the message is sent it is out if you post something on social media it is out it is sent already it is out of your control now now who will share who will download who will do what you never know so once it is out of hands of the acceptor it is complete against the proposer why it is against the proposer because i was supposed to buy your car for rupees 1 lakh and you have accepted it right you are not aware whether i know about the acceptance or not but you have accepted and since you have accepted now i am bound to buy your car for rupees 1 lakh that is what means completion of communication against the proposer i am bound but you are not bound to sell it because your part is not reaching to me for you it will be binding only once it reaches to me so that is the second point the communication of acceptance is complete as against the acceptor when it comes to the knowledge of the proposer when i get to know about your letter that you have accepted my offer then only you are bound until and unless i do not know about the acceptance you are not bound right i get bound the moment you accept it but till the time i am not aware about your acceptance you are not bound by the contract that is what it means this is what means completion of uh, completion of acceptance communication of com completion of the communication of acceptance we should say 
right so there are two parties for the proposal it is completed the moment it is accepted the moment it is out of hand of the acceptor but for the acceptor it completes only when the proposer gets to know about the acceptance until and unless no right so there is a click what happens is there is uh, like let's let's just go to the next slide which says revocation like we are saying that completion is there but can it be revoked also we are saying that it is not complete it is com say like uh, acceptance it is partial acceptance it is completed against only the one person not both the persons until and unless it is it comes to the knowledge of the proposer so can it be revoked yes it can be revoked also but when an acceptance can be revoked at any time before the communication of acceptance is complete as against the acceptor but not afterwards if it is completed against the acceptor then it cannot be accepted that means till the time the knowledge of the acceptance is known to the proposer it can be revoked if it is not known yes it can be revoked but until uh, like after that point of time acceptance is over it is complete the communication is over like the offer was accepted and the communication was reached the knowledge of the acceptance has come to the proposer so it is over now it cannot be revoked but it is complete against the proposer proposer is bound to do but the acceptor which has sent the letter like after sending the message on whatsapp of acceptance you can until and unless the proposer has seen the message if the proposer has seen the message then it is over but if the proposer hasn't seen your message yes you can delete it you can revoke it so that is an option so what do we mean in other words acceptor may cancel his acceptance by a faster mode of communication which will reach earlier than acceptance itself so if you are sending an acceptance by a normal uh, post the revocation can be sent by speed post or revocation can be sent by telegram like this is an old, old example but like uh, we can say that if acceptance is sent by email the revocation can be done by a phone call like if if uh, 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 i get an offer that uh, like if i make an offer to you that i will buy your car for rupees 1 lakh and that was an email that i sent and you confirm it by sending an email that yes i accept this proposal but before i see the email like if i'm seeing the email then it is over if i'm just acknowledging it that uh, the contract is ready then it is over but before i see the message or uh, see the email or acknowledge it you make a call and you say that this email i have sent but i want to revoke it that can be done right by a faster mode F tele uh, like phone phonic telephonic conversation is supposed to be faster than the email right that is what we are trying to say so it can be done that is called revocation or cancellation of acceptance this is what we have studied so far so we just studied very small concept communication and what do we call it as revocation communication now see the, there there are just three slides communication can be done by uh, words spoken or written by conduct or omission of something which was supposed to be done and it is complete against whom against a proposer when it is accepted and it it is completed against acceptor when it is reached to the proposer both the parties are bound i am bound to buy your car the moment you accept it and you are bound to sell it the moment i get to know about your acceptance till the time it is not right if i'm saying i will buy your car for rupees 1 lakh and if you accept it i am bound by it and if i get to know that you have accepted it you are also bound the contract is ready but before i get to know you accepted it but before i get to know about the acceptance you can revoke it also that is what we are trying to say by revocation that is what it is